Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore, and welcome back to another pre-recorded sales video where I offer beautiful jewelry at great prices. If it's your first time here, thank you for clicking on my video, and I hope you'll stick around to watch and possibly subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Here on my channel, I show and sell beautiful jewelry. I sell from vintage costume all the way up to modern, a little bit of antique, sometimes some gold, sterling stones, semi-precious and precious stones, pearls, a little bit of everything. Um, I love the crystal jewelry and stone jewelry as well. So today, as I said, this is a pre-recorded sales video. My jewelry is going to start at $10 and end at $30. I'm going to start with the higher priced items first. I have a lot of fabulous jewelry today. I have some crystal. I have some vintage names. I have Arthur Pepper, Carol Lee, um, Florenza, some Crown Trafari. I think I may have some Monet here. Um, I have some Sopata, which is more modern. But I have some Desert Rose Trading. Um, beautiful brooches, some crystal necklaces, some vintage Japan, a uh, little bit of lucite, a little bit of everything. So, if you see anything that you want to buy from me, I sell to anybody. <laughs> anybody is welcome to purchase, is what I mean to say. Um, all you do is email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com and let me know what piece you want. I'm going to give the prices up front, so you just say what piece you want. And I put it aside for you, and I send you a PayPal invoice, which makes it secure for you and for me as well. So it's first come, first serve basis. I will have in a comment section, you'll see pinned up top, you will see a sold list. I will have the prices separated. The $30 items will start it off, then I'll go 20 15 and 10 uh, so you can look here and see what's sold so you know it's available. When you email me, I'd appreciate it um, if you give me a good description of the piece of jewelry. You can give me a timestamp, and if you want to send a screenshot, that's great as well. So I'm going to get started here now. I'm, go I'm going to start with the $30 items. I think I covered everything there. Um, I'm going to start with this one. I think this is fabulous. This is all sterling findings. I didn't see a maker's mark on it. It does say 925 up here. It has a little extender on it. Cat's eye sterling, multiple colors. This is agate. Nice, too, I think. And this is a really beautiful Mila Fury glass. This is $30. I'm starting with the $30 items. I will measure the extender, and I'll give you a total length of what your potential is on this. You have a 3-inch extender and 16. So 16 to 19 inches on the necklace and... You can go, that's an inch and a half on that. So, I think it's pretty. I like it, the cat's eye. Look how pretty. We've got green, purple, yellow. A, a brownish-like one. Uh, pink and blue. And again, sterling findings. Beads. And three separators in between each color set. I think it's pretty amazing. And you also have a Miller Fury bead right there. It's a nice necklace. It's well made. It's a pretty nice piece. That starts the $30 items, like I said. So I have a beautiful vintage agate with brass findings. Um, a nice vintage barrel clasp pair. And you have the beads in between each stone. This is all agate. Different types, color sizes, and shapes. Some interesting pieces on her. That's 30 as well. And this is 22 inches. You have the brass beads separating. Those are textured. Those are vintage beads in between each lovely piece of agate. I, I don't know the type of turquoise this is. I think it may be Persian. Okay, but I... I won't be quoted on that because I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's turquoise. It's definitely stone. And these are knotted in between. You have queen pearls that are a, like a beige type color. And this is, um, I can't remember if that is glass or smoky topaz. I, I can't remember. But it's a beautiful three strand. This has a coating over it. I didn't scratch through to test it. I don't see any markings. There's a plating over it. As you can see, it's nice. It's nice findings. Nice, well-strung, well-made necklace. Three strands. 
and I believe it's turquoise. Uh, maybe it's some other kind of stone. I'll give you a measurement in a minute. That's what you have. I think it's a nice necklace. I'll give you, let me open it. Of course, this is 30 as well, some of the $30 items. This is 18 inches, triple strand. The mapping on this stone is very nice. They're not, it's got weight because it's three, but it's not extremely heavy. I do think it's a turquoise. Beautiful color variation. The pearls are lovely. I have a Desert Rose Training. This is signed the DRT in 925. And it's all sterling findings. You have that hook. These are little chips. Not real little, but not, you know, they are chips. So you can see that. An extender. Let me tell you what the length is on it. The extender is three inches and it is a total length of 21. So you can wear this from 18 to 21 inches. Desert Rose Trading J King, Desert Rose Trading Turquoise. So variation of colors in here are very nice. That's 30. I think that's a good deal for that. I thought this was lovely. I picked this up from the estate guy. It has a lobster claw clasp. Gold plating. I don't know exactly what's going on there. But beautiful pearls. These are all, they like each sort of smaller. You have crystal AB coating on the red. Um, these are, you know, Baroque pearls. They're a freshwater culture. They're real. Then they get larger and you go down. And this is resin. And I believe those are real flowers in there. Um, I think it's really nice. They are a, like mauve pinkish type. I think it's a cute necklace. Let me measure it for you. You have a total on the necklace. Oh, let me open it. I Sometimes when you measure down, it doesn't measure correctly. And it didn't. 20, <laughs> 20 inches total. And the heart looks to be about an inch and a half. I'll tell you exactly. I think it's a beautiful necklace. I thought it was nice. It's almost down to two inches, one and three quarters if you like count the bail, and you have beautiful crystal down at the bottom, a beautiful crystal there, the gold plated beads there, I'm gonna call them gold plated, I didn't test it or anything, gold tone, gold plated, same thing with the findings, but I think it's nice, I thought it was nice when I saw it, okay, beautiful first sort of culture pearls, I have these earrings, I never offered them, um, that yesterday because I had I had a lot of jewelry yesterday I've been really stepping up <laughs> I'm in shopping more I'm in trying um to bring in more inventory and I've been successful with it so these are sterling silver lever backs they're signed p925 these are big beautiful pearls I'm gonna offer them 30 that's a stale for um the size and quality of these they are 10 millimeters on that Look how big and beautiful. 10 millimeters. And they're about the same size. Let me show you. Sterling silver lever backs and big, beautiful, see, pearls. They're 30 as well. I have this. I'm going to offer this for 30. It's signed 925. It's well made. Like the construction's very nice on this ring. And it feels, it's got a good weight to it. I'm not going to weigh it, but it's, it's fairly heavy. You can hear that. It's not a chintzy ring. It's just a point I'm trying to get out there. It's right around sizing right around about a six and a half. No, I could not quite. Like a six and a quarter. Let me I have on my... I love that ring. Um, yeah, it's fitting about a six and a quarter. So, um, let's size it one more time. Yeah. It's like on a, above the six and a half. Beautiful blue mauve pearl. Look how raised that is. It's beautiful. The luster is amazing on that. For 30 bucks, it's a stale. This is all one piece up here, the way they've constructed. And, it's, and it is well put together. That's 30 if anybody wants it. That's a good price. Beautiful Sopata CZ signed with the Sopata arrow in there in 925. Look at the beautiful scroll work on it. I think it looks lovely. That is a CZ, and this is 30 as well. This one is right around a six and a half. You see a little maybe?
maybe six and three quarters. Let's try it on. We should just keep that ring off. Yeah, yeah. It's about a six and a half, I would say. Look how beautiful the CZ is. Beautiful Sopata. A very nice sized and well made ring opened in the back. Did I show you the back of the pearl? Just let me show you. See, yeah, I did. Okay. Well made. Beautiful Sopata ring. And I think 30 is great price on it. I have these. I've offered them. I sold them. They weren't paid for, so I'm going to offer them again. These are Carol Lee, signed Carol Lee. Upside down. I think these these are leopards. I'm gonna call them the wrong thing there. Um, beautiful gold plated and crystal leopard earrings with green crystal eyes. These are pierced clips. These are not pierced. They're clips. One of the rubbery things fell off. I'll put it back on. I have these. If anybody ever wants them, ask me. So beautiful green eyes. Let me enlarge it. Look at the eyes. Beautiful green crystal eyes and clear crystal set throughout gold plating. I think they're nice. They're Caroline. Let me make that smaller. They're 30 as well. And is that it? No. I have this. It's not Juliana. I went on to the Juliana uh, page where the woman wrote a Juliana book and they guided me towards a not Juliana website where it shows things that are Juliana, things that aren't. This is a stumper of people, not just me. Um, that's why it was on the, pay, on the page, but it's not. It's beautiful uranium. Everything is fully pronged and magnificent. These are molded. These ones here are molded. And you have some of the navettes are opened opened in the back. And some are closed. And then you have these leaves on here that are frosted and look like they're gold-plated uranium there, like I said on those two. Uh, fused glass. Beautiful. Be that so like a fused. I don't know if it's jivery or not. Um I could get into specifics of that. It's just beautiful art glass brooch hair for $30, which is a steal for this. Not a Juliana. Not a Juliana. Uh, a stumper. Not all Juliana has puddling in the back. The, an expert did confirm that. As I didn't think it did. Not all of it does. That's one of the things you're going to look for. You're going to look at the pin to be attached and some puddling back hair figure eight thing. But it's not on every Juliana brooch. So it's not a guaranteed finder. It's a long process to learn these things. Quite beautiful. $30. Absolutely magnificent brooch for that price. And then I have the beautiful Florenza. <coughs> this is vintage as well. Um, that brooch was vintage as well, of course, but beautiful. This is transfer. Um probably early, um, not earliest transfer, but this is a vintage piece. It's beautiful. Look how you have beautiful lady on there and then you get out and you have that and this is stationed it stays in one place this is a snail chain it's in great shape it, it looks like brand new it's a vintage florenza um signed i'll show you the signature in the back it is a 20 um, like this it does not have a class one so you get out around the neck you have 26 inches a total drop of 17 and like a quarter so, from hair down, I think you, this is four inches. And it's signed back here, Florenza, with the copyright. This is glass, and it is transferring. Look how beautiful I think it's. A beautiful couple there. Courting couple. Back up the people recording. Nice, that's, that's it for the 30. Okay, now for the $20 items. I have this beautiful, oh, this is rather beautiful, actually. Look at this. That's sterling, I believe. Definitely looks like it, right? Um, pearl clasp. These are graduated in size. Beautiful AB crystal. This is a nice long one. This is $20. Let me give you a link. It's a very lovely 25 inches with that opening in it. So probably 26. Look how lovely that is. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Looks great. That's $20 today. This is 20 as well. This is magnificent, I think. This is a mixture of agate. Um, some agate on here. Some amethyst. 
uh, Clear Quartz, Rose Quartz, Garnet, Aventurine, a mixture of a lot of different types of stones on here. Everything is, they have, I think the beads are sterling, although I didn't test them. They're separated by, it's a strand. It's a nice necklace. Um, it is $20 today. It is 30 inches around the neck, the strand. And again, very beautiful stones. A lot of different stones. You have larger pieces, you have round beads, you have these chunks, whatever you want to call those. Uh, you have chips and it's 20 bucks if anybody's interested. I think this is magnificent. I thought this was very lovely. That's an uh, ornate. Um, this is a pushback box clasp. It's writing them back there. Um, faux pearls. These are all glass. They are knotted and separated on some type of fabric. It's a very, it's a nice long necklace. Look how pretty it is. You have this beautiful clasp so that can go over on the side. It's the bust isn't quite long enough, but there you go. And they're in good shape. I don't see any peeling or anything on these. Or faux glass pearls. Double strand. Let me give you a measurement. I'm not going to open it. Um, 22 inches. So good length. It'll fit um, in a lot of people. All this little rhinestones appear to be there. You see beautiful rhinestones and a faux pearl. A darn. I, that's, I think it's pretty. Okay, um, these are lovely, I think, as well. These are sterling findings and pr pretty large. These are even bigger than 10. These look about 12 by Anna's guess. Let's see if I am right. Um, I have my little calipers. They're 11. They're not much bigger than the other ones. I don't know why they look bigger. Um, 11 or 12. Anyways, they're pretty. They are a, like a, they're a pretty color. Kind of like a yellowish orange. Pearls. They are first water culture pearls. They're 20. I have this. I have two of these. They're 20 each. This one is um, older. I can tell by the way the, the fabric it's strung on. This is a beautiful. Um, that's not an original class. Somebody added it. But the crystal, AB yellow crystal, is amazing. Some of it looks hand cut. Okay. Um, look how beautiful it is. I think it's nice. That is 20. Um, and then I have another one. It's more modern than this one. This one, this is not the original clasp. It's 18 inches around the neck. Um, they put in between, you have these beautiful clear crystals. And then you have the yellow pieces. And that's a beautiful necklace. That's so 20. I have this one. I think this is very lovely as well. Faceted. These are... Kind of like cones go down at Graco. It starts with the coney types. Then you have these round. And then you go down and you have varying shapes here. Very beautiful. I don't know how old it is exactly. That looks like a heart. I mean, kind of. Kind of cute. So, yellow crystal. <clears throat> I believe it's it's newer glass than the, uh, or crystal than the other one. Okay, 18 inches as well. It's pretty, though. It's $20 for that as well. Beautiful. So just say older, newer, lighter, darker. Older and newer. This one looks older to me, okay? And this one looks newer, okay? If, if you want them both or one. Um, I have two Arthur Pepper pieces. This is 20 today. This is an Arthur Pepper flip poison ring signed art for Arthur Pepper with a copyright. And it is, um, this is a brass with, with, looks like it's gilt with gold. This is, it has a copyright, so yeah, it's post 55, 50s or 60s on it, probably. It's my guess it could be, could be a little more recent. Not sure. It's sizable, but we start off at a seven on here. And there's how much room you have. You can make it a little smaller. That's glass. And those are faux pearls. I think it's a really nice ring. That's Arthur Pepper. That's 20. And then I have a beautiful bracelet that matches it pretty well. It's 20 as well. It has the faux pearls and it has the green stones. A little bit of a different type of green stone, but matches well enough. Look, you have, it's a fold over clasp. Let's, um, oh my God, I want my magnifying glass go because Anna can't see. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Um, 
It's signed Art right here. I mean, I can enlarge. I don't need to magnify Art right there for Arthur Pepper with the copyright as well. Same type of thing. Brass looks like it has a uh, gold plating on it. Um, to measure it, I it has an original intact safety chain that has a spring ring clasp on it. Take that off, you know, and it goes right back on. I'm just going to take it off so I can measure it. It's a seven inch bracelet. Beautiful. These look like rubies made to imitate rubies. It's all glass and beautiful fur, faux, faux pearls, not fur. That's a very nice Arthur Pepper. It's 20. I have a GC Code 4 necklace for $20. This is pretty. When I, I thought it looked like a Givenchy type of thing. Um, it has, but it's not. It has the crown right there. Excuse my nails. I peeled a tangerine. I probably should have washed them. Ah, that's what that is. It's not acid. I'm trying to eat healthier. There's the crown. Juicy Couture. Like a gunmetal finish on this. Um, this is one of those. You could change the size. How long you want it. So in the back, you have these beautiful stones. Glass, I believe. And then in the front, you have this. Like You can make it any length you want. That it could be down your back. Um, if you have your hair up or short hair, look how beautiful it goes down to that Y, very long Y, with this piece that can come off. It is actually hooked on there as well. So the total, your potential, you can pull it all the way up to the top, is you have a lot. I'm not even going to mention It's a long necklace, okay? Let me tell you the total length, okay, from top to bottom. That's something so you can know how long it's going to drop on you. It is with the tassel, it is at 28 and a half inches. Without the tassel, it's 26. If you should decide to take the tassel off. And like I said, you can change the length on it with this. And you like you can make it any length you want. It's a juicy couture Y necklace is what I'm calling it. And it's I changed it. It's it's very pretty. Okay, look. That will be on your back right here. That'll be in the back. I just the way I hung it up. Hold on. It's not going to be perfect because I'm... See, you have that in the front. Look how long that is. So this piece here, which is what the Y is, um, that can come off as well if you want to wear it without that or you want to hook it on something else. I just noticed that. So you can wear this piece separate. And you have the total piece is 10, is yeah, 7 and a half to 10 and like a half inches on this piece here. So that can be taken off. These are very, it's a very nice necklace. It's a nice juicy couture. Um, this is, I, I believe this is Chalcedony. That's my guess. This is Desert Roast Freighting. 925 is the marking on it. Let's see if I can. Am I right on that? I second guess myself somehow. Yeah, it's, it's the China probably like J. King. Um, anyways, it's stone. It's a stretch. It's 20. That's a sterling silver piece. This is 22. I love, I love, I think citrine's beautiful. This is citrine. I like the little citrine dangle there. This is sterling findings on the end. And then you have this beautiful, these little sterling beads here that are decorated with something. See, they're like dice. And then the total length on this bracelet of citrine, the dangles citrine as well, it's seven and a half. There's the end. That's Mark 925. This piece is as well, I believe. Beautiful citrine bracelet for 20. And last but not least, the $20 items. Is this is Japan. I believe this is all glass. It's brass findings in the back. It is signed Japan back there. This is a vintage Japan necklace. Um, you have these caps. These are glass. These caps are, are glass as well. And I believe they're glass faux pearls. So there's the top, the top there. It is a little loose there. Not really though, it's not a problem, okay? But I think it's pretty. I'll give you a measurement. That is a vintage Japan with, I think the I think the pearls are glass as well. No plastic on this one. 18 inches in length on the shortest one. You know, the shortest strand. So, without opening it. Um, 
It's a nice necklace. These are glass. Everything's, there's little glass pieces in between. These caps are glass, and I believe the faux pearls are glass, too. They're nice, nice faux pearls, nice quality. So that's the 20s. Now I'm into $15 items. I have some here. I think these are, these are big, beautiful pearls. This is glass, and look, those are, like, inlaid in there, the uh, rhinestone pieces. Large, this could use a restring, but I thought it was a beautiful set of pearls here. Big pearls, like 10, some, they vary in size. That one's smaller. These are like 10 millimeters. Beautiful. I thought it was a nice combo. That's 15. I have this. It's, it is not, this is a stretch. This, it is not Christmas, but this looks like the Bay, but it's not. Okay. Because there is no marking on it. Uh, stocking. <laughs> With beautiful red and clear and one green. That's actually green. See, it's not discolored. Um, rhinestone. If I don't sell it, I'll put it away till Christmas. Two and almost three inches from hair to hair. I thought that was cute. This is a Lucite bangle for 15. You see, you get that magic off. You turn it that way. You see the color. You turn it this way. It's clear. This is frosted in texture. Um, it has no name on it. It's two and a half inches, which is an average size my wrist is six and one eight that's how it fits me so you want a movable room there but it looks it's in good shape i don't see any scratching or anything on the coating that's fitting this is a very beautiful look at that i think it's amazing this is liz claiborne it's signed back here it's 15 it's got nice gold plating on it this is a vintage pin it's well it's soldered on it's well made and these are beautiful. It is a one, almost like one and a quarter, almost one and a half inch. I think it's beautiful. Look, it's a, that's a really nice pin. Nice Liz Claiborne vintage one. I thought these were beautiful. These are brass findings. These are older screw backs. Um, that is the front. Look at the beautiful. That is a fully pronged AB rhinestone in there. Beautiful bicone here. They're like an inch and a half. They're 15. They are an inch and a half, a little bit over. That's the back. Nice. I think they're nice. I have this. This is 15 if anybody wants a little velvet collar. Adorable. Look at the bee, uh, the bumblebees. They have plastic foil back. The rest are glass rhinestones. These ones are really nice uh, black and then clear. And then here you have some gray and the wings are coated with them. They have them in their nice little black rhinestones in their eyes. This is a nice necklace. Everything is hand sewn on there. It's a velvet collar and there's the findings. This uh, love circle clasp. You have the extender is three inches. The necklace is total length is 17. So 14 to 17 inches. I think it's an adorable, really, I'm not going to hang it up. Um, but it's really adorable. That's 15. And this is lovely. This is 15. Um, beautiful toggle. Look how very nicely decorated there. And you have multiple chains. And you go down and you have more. And these are glass. Very beautiful foil back. I don't know who the maker is on it, but it's 15. I think it's a really nice necklace. I'm going to measure it from end to end. That's from the top little part down. Um, you have that. That's like a little extender on the end. You have an inch extender. Uh, so you can make it even take it down to the shortest. You could start doing it at a 13 inch and have a dangle. Or you could take it to 18, 17 and a half or 18 and a half, okay? And I think it's a really beautiful necklace. Very nice. Uh, very well made. I don't know who the maker is, but it's it's uh, it's well made. It's beautiful. That's 15 if anybody likes it. I like the color. This is like a pinkish, like orange or something. Um, Pinkish. Beautiful. And those are glass. All of it is very nice. That's it for 15. Now on to the $10 items. I have a few. Some of these I've shown before and the prices are lower now. Um, 
These are some of the stuff I'd never offered before, actually. I had a lot of jewelry, like I said. So I think this is these are quite nice. Beautiful. AB rhinestones. It's this textured gold tone there. They are gold tone clips. And these are about an inch. An inch. Oh, about that. An inch and an eighth. Beautiful, I think. They are like they're flowers. Some leaves in the back. Those are 10. This is Mother of Pearl in painted, um, painted glass pieces. It's not coral. So you have a lobster claw class. These are painted. These are Mother of Pearl. <coughs> Look how cute. They are graduated in size. And you see the, the nice little shine that they give off. Uh, this is a 22 inch necklace. And these are graduated in size. These look like, I don't know, tulips or flower pots or something. There is some wearing on some of this. Okay, that's why it's 10 bucks. These are graduating in size. If you were a string, you could take these beautiful mother of pearl flowers. They look like tulips, don't they? And you could reuse those or something. It's 10 bucks because of the fainting. These are 10 bucks. I don't know. I don't know who the maker is on these. Um, <laughs> they are black and this is all metal, black and like Japan's in the back. These are more modern though. Uh, cat earrings, I don't know, leopards, I guess, or jaguars or something. Look how pretty those are like not pave style set all through the face with the black enameling in the background. You can see the ears are indented like hollow. Not hollow, you know what I mean, they go in a little bit. Um, and so the eyes and the nose. And I thought they were nice. They're 10 bucks. They're about a, um, they're uh, about an inch. And they're pair of stearings. They are right around an inch. I think they're in a cute for 10. This is, I'm going to call this faux amber. It, um, it glows a little bit. It looks overly reconstituted to me though. So 10 bucks for it if anybody wants it. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> it does glow, but it, it appears like um really and it's not it's not sterling findings not all the amber you find is going to be in sterling findings especially the older ones though and that's how it is sometimes but this i don't i'm going to call it faux i don't i could be wrong i don't know it's 10 bucks either way it's green and it is um that color so <laughs> let me measure it for you at 10 bucks it's still worth it eight inches Okay, for that. This is a gold filled chain. Very pretty vintage necklace, dainty. These are, this is all gold filled. And you have crystal and glass. This is molded right there. And I think it's pretty, it's a very dainty. This would be good for layering or something. That's marked gold 1 12th, 1 20th of 12 carat or something on it. One of those 18 inch necklace, beautiful mixture of molded and faceted glass we'll call it i don't know if it's i think it's all glass pink in between clear it's beautiful beautiful gold filled uh vintage glass dainty glass necklace um uh, these are joseph warner uh signed warner these are reversed in taglio uh cameo earrings look they are signed Warner back here. These are vintage. You have, see that's construction. These are 10 bucks. These are about an inch as well. Okay. These ones I showed last week, I lowered them a little bit. They're very nice. They These are 1970s, 1980s. These are pairs. Look at the shape of them. I think they're very nice actually. They don't, they're gold plated and white enamel. Everything's metal. These are Paris. You have nice movement there. They're well made. They don't have a maker's mark on them. These are about an inch and a half on the white enamel. Exactly an inch and a half. Nice. I think they're nice. They look great. And these are Napier. A nice heavy plastic. 
and they're gold plated. They're signy pier in here. You have the lock on this. You know, you take it off down. You have the lock. These are hoops. These are 10 bucks. They're nice, nice earrings, actually. And 1980, 1990 Napier earrings there. They're about an inch drop. And then I have this necklace. I, it's pretty, I think. <clears throat> it's not sterling, although I didn't test it. But anyways, look, it goes. It has this drop on it. Is that hung right? Mm, there we go. I'll open it and measure it. It is a eight, an 18 inch necklace. It's pretty. So that's all I have. If you want anything, email me vintage jewelry galore at yahoo.com and um, I'll be happy to accommodate you. Thank you. Have a good day.